Hi, I'm Dom Kane, and today I'm going to take a look at Sample Robot for PluginBoutique.com. It's a clever little tool for recording samples of external synths to make your own patch banks. So let's take a look and I'll show you what it can do. So before I go any further, I just want to make it clear that Sample Robot is a standalone application and not a VST or anything. When you first load it up, you'll be offered the project wizard like this and from experience it's best to follow this to get all your settings right from the offset. So I'll start by clicking next and for this project I'm going to be sampling one of my Moogs so I'm going to call this Moog SP001 then it'll ask me where to store the project and the default location is fine then I can choose the audio input and I'm using my Profire 610 for this Moog and since the Moog is monophonic, I'm going to record it at 44.1 kHz mono 16 bit. And the next options offer you automatic recording, which is for any MIDI enabled instrument, or semi automatic, which detects any input as you play the note yourself. So I'm going to choose automatic here. And then my MIDI output device will be the Profire 610 2 and the MIDI channel will be default channel 1 and now I'm going to choose a 61 key recording for this demo and the next page of this wizard will ask you how many velocity layers you'd like so if your instrument is velocity sensitive then you can record multiple layers and then to the right of this is the key step amount which is by default set to six note gaps in between the recordings and Sample Robot will fill in the gaps automatically. So let's change that to three key step notes so we can get a tighter recording as it's an analog synth. And now finally I'll set each note length to be four seconds long and the release length to be zero since there isn't any in this sound. And then on the next page I'm going to have auto loop on because this sound is a continuous one and Sample Robot will actually automatically scan for looping points then within each recording. In the next window you can choose a simple intermediate or complex loop point depending on the type of sounds you're recording and I'm going to leave this as simple. Then on the next screen I'm going to leave the looping point as the default middle too and that's it ready to go just hit finish and then OK. Now before I start the recording, let me just hit the close button here. Now this is the basic layout of Sample Robot, uh, where you can see all the MIDI input settings and system settings with the projects below, and the multi-sample settings for different velocities with the MIDI output settings next to that, allowing you to set any attack velocity, release velocity and aftertouch. Below all of this is where you'll see a virtual keyboard where you can select the number of keys and which ones to record, which are the ones highlighted. In the setup wizard I chose to record every third note, so you can see every third note is highlighted here. So I'm going to go ahead and record now by heading to the recording menu and selecting record selected project. And I'll leave this video recording the first few notes and then I'll skip ahead uh, when it's done to save some time. Okay, so now the recording is done. This is where the really great features of Sample Robot starts to kick in. Uh, the export feature, for example. But before I do that, I'm going to double check the recording of the notes by clicking down on the highlighted notes. And notice I can hold it down for longer than four seconds, which was the length of my recording, since it's placed looping points in there automatically like this. You can see the looping points in the screen at the top right over here and I can actually click on the Wave Robot button here and Wave Robot will pop up where I'm now given the options to edit the note start and end points or the loop start and end points for example. This is great if you're wanting to record entire loops of sounds and not just single notes or samples 
So you could even use Sample Robot for drum loops or creating entirely original sounds of your own through any sort of new techniques like granular synthesis, for example. You can even set multiple looping points and have them auto-reverse and crossfade too. Now going back to the main screen, I can head straight to the Import Export menu item here and Export Selected Project As. And you can see there are loads of different export formats including Cakewalk Dimension, Apple Logic Pro, Propellerhead Reason and NI Contact. I'm going to go ahead and select the NI Contact one for this demo and then you can choose your settings like frequency, depth and channels but also things like this one here to adjust the samples levels according to velocity mapping which is great. Then once you've done that you can head to the sampler of your choice and import them there. There are so many great uses for Sample Robot like using sounds from different synths in live shows that can now be accessed from one sampler or recording live instruments like pianos so that you can actually carry them around with you from studio to studio or even producers who layer up particular synths to get a specific sound all the time. Now you can actually create that one big sound using all the layered synths as a virtual instrument so the possibilities are pretty much endless. So that's the basics of Sample Robot and it's available via PluginBoutique.com now. Cheers, see you soon.